stay. Come back, come back. Wind's helping me. Same okay. as last night. So we're, we we played a few holes. Do you fancy a bit of a fancy a bit of a lesson? Yeah. Go on. So played last night and you were slicing quite a bit, weren't you? Well I'll, yeah. Not I'm hitting a, it very far. I'm a driver, definitely. Definitely. So slicing driver, not hitting very far. And then when you did actually hit it straight, where did it go? Leftish, wasn't it? How far left? A lot. A lot, right? So you're still when you when you're taking it out on the golf in practice it wasn't too bad but in, on the golf course you're getting out there and you're still swinging massively out to in here which is why you're slicing it the club face is miles open so this is what's giving you that kind of slice like a glancing blow on glancing blocks well you're not hitting it very far i mean you were pretty good distance behind my drives but not through strength but because actually all your power is going the wrong direction you're not getting it through the back of the ball right when you did have a club face square it would go straight left yes so what, low. Yeah, so look, we haven't got loads of time to do loads of swing work, but I reckon we can get, gain some yardage and get you hitting it much straighter with just a few simple changes. Okay. Right? So get yourself set, I want to show you something. So uh, in my head, I'm going over that yellow cone. You know, that yellow pyramid in yeah, front okay. of you. Yeah, cool. Right? So pause there for a second. So one of the issues that we've got, right, is get yourself set again. So you, on a golf course, people often try and make loads of swing, complicated swing changes, when sometimes all you need is just a change in your alignment, right? So what you're doing a lot is, is you're basically, your feet are aiming sometimes a bit right of target, then your shoulders aim over here, your right arm's a bit over the top. So basically, everything in, in an exaggerated way, if I've showed you, is aiming left of target here. Yep. Your right arm's too far on top of the, in top here. Right. Right? Now, if you imagine here, if you're setting up like this, I'm exaggerating a lot, where are you going to swing? Across, isn't it? This way. But what you do is, is you go around because of it, but ultimately on here, if your shoulders are there and your arms are exaggerated here, you're going to come across. Add that to the fact that you know it slices. What we were doing yesterday, funnily enough. Just playing with it. Yeah, but you start to even do it even more. You start to exaggerate. And it, it went worse. And it got worse, it didn't did, it? Yeah, because, it did. At the end of the round, it did. It yeah. got worse, right? So you were exaggerating because you were wanting to avoid that. So even more, it came here, right? That's going to provide more of that slice. So get yourself set. What I want you to do is this. If you stand there for a second. I want you to build a little bit of a routine. So I'd like you to start with exactly that. So you pick your spot here, yeah? Yeah. Put the club behind the ball. Put your le left hand in play. Okay, and what I want you to do is, is take this, uh, take your stance and to put your right hand, okay, and just put it on the back of your, your leg. What this is going to do, it's going to draw that right shoulder back a little bit, and it's providing this space now, and you would normally invade this space. We're going to simply keep away from it. The right arm's underneath, we're going to bring that right arm now underneath, so when we look down the camera line now, you're going to be able to see the top of your left forearm, whereas before, all right, that makes sense to me now. Makes okay. sense? Yep, straight away. Yep. Now we know you have a bit of a loop in your swing. We're not going to touch that uh, because we're on a golf course, right? So we yeah. need to make simple changes that are going to make big differences. So build this system in place, left hand in, right arm down the leg, get yourself into a much more what I call draw or straighter setup. Okay? Okay, pause there. Feels now the other thing here, okay, which is not all helping, Lee, if you want to come around here, just have a look at this. So your ball position here yep. is also miles forward. Is it? Yeah. Now, if you think about it, so, we've, so if your ball position's miles forward, what's that also going to do to your shoulder alignment? Yeah, it's going to twist it it's even more. It's going to twist it even more. Yeah. yeah. And again, why would you do that? Well, again, if your trouble's been over there, you've probably gradually moved it further and further forward to avoid that. Yeah. So what I want you to do is, is just with this, put your feet together. Yep. Take a little step to your left, slightly bigger one to your right, so the ball's just inside your left heel. Okay, remember all this is we're designing to stop you coming across the ball and more from the inside, okay? See yourself set here, that's it. Feels different now. Yeah, just there. Yeah. See here, look at this. That's just, that's it. There you go. So you feel like you're just a little bit more underneath that position there. Now look, from here, you've got this space look. To come on the inside. To come on the inside. And you remember, if we want to hit driver, where do we want to hit it from? On the open, on the inside. This way, don't we? Yeah. Now you imagine, let's go back here, go back into original position. If you're over here and this shoulder's over this way, can you see the yeah, angle now? Choice over. It's more that way, isn't it? Mm. But suddenly as you just, just subtle changes there, yeah? Now you can go into this angle here. Let's give it a go. You happy with that? Yeah.
How's that feel? Well, it's gone about 35 yards long. It's still got a little fade. Yeah, yeah, but can but you hear the sound? But the hit's solid though, isn't it? The I can, sound, I was going to say, can you hear the sound on that? Yeah. So rather than that glance, not yet. It's probably got 35 longer, isn't it, if you look where it's landed. Well, exactly, and if you can hear the sound of that. Yeah. It's it more, more solid. Yeah, it weren't the glance. No, it's exactly. So, in your face like. Exactly. So let's just hit another one. So you, all you've got to do is, is build this into a routine. It's not going to happen straight away. And what we'll do in a second, we'll. We'll see if it applies to irons as well, because it really does. I saw one of the previous holes where you'd, your divot was going miles left of target with your irons. Yeah, of course. Okay. So we'll see how it applies to irons, subtle, subtle difference. And then what we'll do is we'll, 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 we'll continue on to the next hole and hit a few drives off there. But it one more here, just follow that routine. I like it now, you know, like here. Yeah. I'm a first lick on it, then I know I'm right. Exactly. That's a confidence builder for yeah. me then, so I know I'm right. Routine, routine's everything. Creates consistency. Look at that now. Look how straight that is. That's dead straight. <laughs> yeah. It's just the sound's better, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. must be hitting them on the up because they're teasing and it's just, must yeah. be doing that as Completely. well. Completely, right? So let's, and, and, and so you, you, you know, started off, just simple, simple setup changes can make a massive difference. Well, it has, on it? And it's, my head's not, if anything, I've got a bit of confidence with like, just go there, then I know that's okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. Exactly, so let's see that what it looks like with the irons now, because again, same principle with the irons, um, we need to get you striking much more through the ball so you can get that much straighter ball flight, okay? okay. And then we'll test it out, so just to see if you haven't lost it by the time we get to the next tee. All right, okay, deal. <laughs> so the first one's there, right? So we'll see, your, your other ones went super straight, I just can't see where they were. Oh, one left, oh, my, my one's here. Oh, there's one here, there you go. Jeez, look at that! Oh, yeah, it's on the left of it, right? So look at that, in terms of distance, I don't know what that is. I mean, obviously we were playing on Lynx Land, so it's going to run, but the fact that you've hit the fairway. So, look at that. So I know you've hit the fairway here. That's gone further, that had less run, that was the first yeah, one with the carry. That's the first one, this is the second one, almost the same distance. Because you've hit the fairway, you've been in, and obviously you've got more um, solidness into the back of the golf ball, that's a hundred yards. Yeah, would you say it's got 20 run? Oh, but then if you miss the fairway, you don't get your run, do you? No, we're, we're on Lynx land, right? So you're not going to dip this on, on soft ground uh, necessarily, but it's, you've hit the fairway, yeah. right? So it's a massive difference, you know? Look, you've, you've got, on a par five, you've got 189 yards left in with your iron shot compared to 289 yards. Yeah. Yeah? Right, so that's a fair pair looking at it, isn't it? Well, let's have a look now, iron play. I'm a little bit confused now. My irons are they're nearly there, but now I'm confused with the setup. Okay. Because you made me different with the driver, you see. So Is it the same? Pretty much, but there's one small change, right? So what you've got to remember, with driver, we want to do what? Hit up on the ball. Up on the ball, yeah. yeah. So we've created this kind of tilt and we've had sliding the arm down the leg to help you hit up on that ball and create this space. Yeah. Right? With an iron, we want to naturally hit down on it, okay? So all we do is, is we've changed a couple of things. We change setup. So rather than have a little step and a big step, what we're going to do is the ball position with a seven eye needs to be just ahead of center. So the steps now are a lot more even. Can you see that? Yeah, so in my terminology, I'm thinking, right, 50-50. 50-50 is yeah. fine, right? Okay. So that means that you're going to catch the ball, then the ground on the way down. But you'll only catch the ball on the way, on the way down if, as opposed to sliding all the way down here, you're only going to slide just a little bit. Right, okay. so it's more neutral, you're Much shoulder. more neutral. But what I love about for you, keeping this routine going, is it's gonna draw that right shoulder back for you, as opposed to we know you tend to be a bit more here. Right. Okay, so drawing that right shoulder back is just a nice reminder of that you've still gotta come, even though you can come down on this golf ball, you've still gotta come down from the inside. Okay. okay. Now, before we go into the help you add distance with your driver, I think what will be really handy here with your irons is just trying to visualize you're gonna also get a little bit of Snap in there too. So right. let the hands go. Let the club just, because sometimes with your eyes, I saw today, you were kind of looping over with your body. Just create a little bit of snap. So this lead arm and club are going to line up at the impact area. We'll go into that with a driver in a second or two. It's going to add a bit more distance. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. It's all 50-50. 50-50. Just follow the same routine. Keep it simple. Oh my God, that's like a perfect draw. How does that feel? Look at that draw. 
How's that feel? Oh, class, wasn't it? Without <laughs> driving home, Trump. The sound I mean, says hang it. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. And let's just check something. Let's just check something. Now, your divot, where was it on the last hole? On the par three? Yep. Oh, we're going over the miles left. left yeah. right, come and have a look at this divot now. Look at the entry point of this divot. It's completely square. Now where are you going? Have a look at this. Yeah, because it started right edge, didn't it, and drew, didn't it? Exactly. So changing setup, create a snap, you've completely changed your path naturally, you've struck it beautifully, it's gone further with a little draw. Yeah. Let's show you now how you add that to a bit more speed now with a driver. Yes, please. All right. How simple is these? <laughs> so simple this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's funny how, like golfers like me, bad habits sink, sink in. Yeah. And that was so quick, quick, easy fix. I know I ain't done it on the next hole, but those two good shots, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, even three, because I had two drives. I just think you've got more control there, you know, and, and, and this is going to be, you know, when you're playing in windy conditions as well, if you've got that slice, you're going to lose so much yardage. And there's, look at the rough around here. You're dead. Yeah, so, so that was class. You just under underclubbed there, 189 yards with 7-9. I'll take that all. Yeah, so you, you, you were just a bit short. 6 iron would have been perfect. That's easy, isn't it? Just like that. <laughs> Drive, you? You, need, you need a putting lesson now. <laughs> Go on, next tee. Okay, so now you've got set up. Let's see if we can sneak a few extra yards out, effortless yards, right? So when you slice, we know that your tendency, any slicer does this, they tend to what, get, uh, get this drag effect. So they tend to get power by rotating their shoulders and their hips too much this way. I'd yeah, that's me, isn't it? Yeah, okay. What I want you to do, just as a drill, hold the club the other way around for a second. We briefly touched on it with the irons. This here, I want you to imagine you're going to get your lead arm and club just lining up at impact. And as you're doing this, create a snap. Snap. Now look at this. As I'm creating this snap, the path will naturally come this way on the line we want, mm -hmm. hit up on that ball with speed. Without the snap, you can try and get the snap with this and it becomes a drag. And that's that, where you can go either left or that you release it, leak. Yeah, massive yeah. pull left or massive slice. Right? Yeah. It's nothing, it's really simple. Just keep with the system, create some snap, visualize it lining up, and with a bit of practice, you'll start to gain a few extra yards. Well, we all want them, don't we? <laughs> that's it, nice snap. There you go. Okay. Just, can I get it on record that you've put me on one of the hardest holes here at Inverellicky for is, a driving hole? Yeah, it's such a good golf course. Such a good golf course. This is, but it's a challenge. So you, this is almost where you desperate. If you any slice here and you're dead, so yeah. you need that straight one, uh, straight shot here. If, if, if not even a draw. You happy with that? Yeah. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. So not a draw. Tiny, tiny fair, but where's that? Straight down the middle. Exactly. Yeah, oh, well, I didn't get through a touch of it, but like I said, you're not going to go. Not, you you're can't not gonna, go full circle. No, we're a, on a golf course. We're only played five, there. ten minutes, exactly, can we? Exactly. It's great. Uh, well, well, the fairway. Get in there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm loving this. Awesome. So when you're doing it, don't add in the snap too soon. You know, you saw with the setup that that was making a big, big difference to your accuracy, and you even got a draw with it. Yeah. And you know, bed that in first, get comfortable with it, and enjoy hitting more fairways, and only then start to add in that extra bit of rush and try and give it. It's uh, when I feel comfortable, when yeah, natural. yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's look how much distance you had just, just by hitting oh, more yeah, fairways, I like that. yeah. So, start with that first, then once you feel more comfortable, then start adding a bit of that snapping. Do you know what? I feel comfortable more, yeah, taking you on as a match, taking me on, see, cupel, that's yeah. the master. We should bring it on, bring it on. What are we playing for? Breakfast, you're going to make breakfast when I beat you. Done, you're on. Yeah? Done. Four holes, how many shots? I'll give you four shots. One will do. What? Done. <laughs>